Okay, Sandra, the next question is about how partner can keep love between them and how to make it stronger and keep growing over the time. Very good question. Very good question. Um, so, in, um, in the beginning, it's easy to arrive through attraction and everybody's on their best behavior you're getting a lot of attention and appreciation and care from each other. And so this feels good and we can come to appreciate each other and to feel uh, an affection and love for each other. So how to keep that going, uh, especially later on. So maybe we're not, um, uh, our partner isn't giving all the attention that they used to do in the beginning. So there's something missing now. So um, uh, first of all, to recognize, understand what's happening. We all need energy. We all need to be fed spiritually for our happiness uh, by energy. And people's energy is important. And when somebody is giving us attention, appreciation, care and kindness, looking out for us, spending time with us, this is feeding us in our energy spiritually. And the more of that we have, the better it feels in us. We feel happy, we're nourished by that. So recognizing that people need energy, people need attention. So think about your partner, how you can give that energy to your partner. What can you do for your partner that would make them feel happy? What can you uh, say of appreciation and thank you and recognition to your partner. And um, when your partner's speaking, can you actually listen? Can you listen without interrupting? Can you really hear and understand your partner? There's some principles at work in successful relationships where energy needs to flow. And what does that mean? Is that here's two people in a relationship so this one wants to express themselves. That energy needs to flow. This means the other one needs to be able to accept and handle and understand and allow and not be hurt and, and disrupted or triggered by that. So we need to grow in our patience, in our understanding of each other and listen and, and to each other and hear each other out. What happens then is, this person's energy is being received and flowing in the other. In the relationship, we can release the energy from each other through the relationship. And the person can feel lighter. Ah, somebody gets me. Somebody understands me. I feel appreciated. And in the understanding, we can give that. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. I'm so sorry. It's difficult. And give that appreciation, which in turn feeds the energy system of the other person to let them feel good and relaxed and think, oh, this person gets me. I really appreciate them. Thank you. And so we have this virtual, this spiral of positive emotions growing in the relationship. So we want to feed our relationships with energy, with attention, with uh, respect and care and kindness and spend time with each other to nurture and build that relationship and this also means when it's difficult you know so let's say um one partner is feeling low and stressed and tired so they don't have the energy available let's say that i need at that time what do i do then i'm not getting what i need and my partner needs as well and how so how do we sustain our love in relationship when one partner or both partners are actually struggling at the moment. So um, then this is where, again, it's so important. If even one of the partners has some awareness and understanding about emotions and energy and how to address our needs and how to heal, then one person can do something to improve their own energy. Go and do some tapping, to satisfy their own need, 
go and put their hands on their heart to feed their own heart because their partner right now is not able to. And then bring their own energy up and shine that love that they now have back into the relationship. Then the dynamic will actually start to change again. And the appreciation and love, again, dynamic will start to, to grow and develop. So um, I think, you know, having, having the knowledge of the tools will let you be able to keep the principle of energy needs to flow and everybody needs energy nourishment. Everybody needs energy to feed their spirit and soul and their hearts. So when this principle is operating in the relationship, it will continue to grow because the more energy flows in us, the more we have the experience of our positive emotions and our experience of love. And, um, and then we can shine that back into the relationship. So uh, energy needs to flow. Everyone needs energy nourishment. Think about that when we're not in flow and we're feeling our stress emotions and we're tired and we don't have energy, it may be that our partner is up and therefore we can say, I'm feeling a bit low and they will shine that energy on us and will bring us back up again. And then we can share in that appreciation. Um, but if we have a situation where both is low or struggling or stressed or hurting, then even if one, of the partners knows how to manage their emotions, transform their energy, bring their energy up, then that will change the dynamic in the relationship and allow it to come back into a flow and the harmony and that positive cycle of, of building love in the relationship. Okay, so the key is nourishing myself with the feeling, understand the partner, and allow the energy to flow. Yes, okay, nourishing you. myself and also nourishing the relationship. You know, so being, so giving, having the, if you, if, if my energy is low, I don't have the energy to give to my relationship. So if my energy is high, as I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling loved and I love myself, I'm looking after my own relationship with myself, then I'm, I'm not looking for the relationship to feed me so much. I'm not looking what the relationship I mean, can give to me. I can give to the relationship. So it's important to learn um, how to love ourselves, even when we're in a relationship with somebody else. And the more that we, uh, we, we take that on board and look after our own energy, the better version of us is shining into the relationship and the better version of us we can give to our partner to enjoy in the relationship when we're low and we're hurting and we're angry and we're stressed and you know we're in pain or fear even if we're justified in feeling that at the moment because of something that happened that's what we're shining into our relationship and if we're shining that all the time into our relationship that's what our partner's getting so yes. you know that's hard to deal with so we need to also learn how to heal ourselves, deal with our own stress emotions, um, uh, to uh, come back to our better self, um, so we can give that into our relationship. Yes, this will help. And don't be demanding in the relationship. Will not add yeah. stress on the partner to give us the feeling that we need. Yes. Thank you, However, Sandra. It's very good. To it's a very good question, but also let's say it's the other way around. Let's say your partner, um, you know, is needing from you, you know, so, and they're low and they need your support and, uh, and is more than you have available. So you're feeling, ah, this person is draining me of all my energy. So um, what do we do there is we recognize, again, just like anything can trigger our limitations, we've now discovered our limitation of patience, our limitation of compassion, our limitation of our ability to handle this kind of need in our partner. So once again, we can take it on ourselves to heal that if we know how, if we have the tools, 
we have the power to heal, to grow, to become, uh, to expand our limits so that we have greater capacity. So we can bring that back to a relationship, back into a love dynamic once again. So, so Sandra, if the partner is, is always demanding, 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 now he's stressing the other partner and and the, the other part, the other, the other person, how he will deal if his energy is low and he can give all these needs on the recent time for some, some emotional issue or his energy is low or his stress of himself due to other situations. Yeah. So well, if, how he will deal with that? If both are low, then, uh, you know, neither can give to each other. We just have to kind of one person who... Again, we should seek, how do we deal with our low energy? How do we uh, heal this? And, you know, we can spend time to bring our energy back up by feeding our own hearts with our own energy of attention and care. So we can strengthen our heart power, bring our energy up, and then we can start to have energy available for the relationship again. Um, once we, once we, when we have a behavior that's difficult to handle in the relationship that makes us feel we don't have enough or we're hurting, once we can develop the ability to handle that so we're not hurting, we now can start to look at it in a new way. Instead of looking at it and feeling triggered by our uncomfortable emotions, we can look at it and seek to understand it. Okay, so why is that person feeling the way that they are? Why are they behaving the way that they're behaving? And then we can ask and then we can listen with our new capacity to handle it. And we can seek to understand and give our attention and appreciation to the other. And that can release some of what they're experiencing through the relationship. And as they start to feel lighter and better, somebody's listening to me at last. Somebody can hear me without interrupting or without getting stressed themselves. This feeling of feeling better comes with this appreciation of their partner. So now we can start to move back into the positive uh, cycle again of, of, uh, of experiencing love and appreciation and feeding the relationship again. So even if you have problems, if you can have help to release the pain, get back into flow and communicate with each other well, you can, um, the problems can actually then become a source as you resolve them together of deepening your relationship. I can definitely vouch mm -hmm. that. <laughs> Thank you.